know that driving a vehicle less is a great way to cut down carbon emissions, but it isn't necessarily the best way to decrease pollution. Driving the green road isn't just about using less fuel, it's also about eliminating the emissions that come out of the tailpipe. So keep in mind that driving an older vehicle less might still create just as much pollution as a newer vehicle. Here is the Toyota Yaris. It's one of the least expensive and thriftiest cars on the road. Now, surely an older version of this car would be just as clean as this 2010 model, right? Well, not necessarily. Now, you might know that the Yaris has not been with us for 10 years. So, in order to do a comparison, we'll use the 2000 Toyota Echo, Toyota's subcompact of the day. Both are small and achieve great fuel consumption. The 2000 Echo has a combined highway and city rating of 7.8 litres per 100k, and the 2010 Yaris uses just 7.5 litres. Very close to each other, but there are differences in how much they pollute. Most people get confused between pollution and the amount of fuel used, so let me explain the difference. The amount of fuel used determines the amount of carbon that's burned, not the emissions that come from the tailpipe that cause smog to form and all these lung problems. That has to be controlled by scrubbing the exhaust of a combustion engine. Because of stricter emissions controls, a newer car is much cleaner than a car from just 10 years ago. Here's a table showing the differences between a 10-year-old Echo and this Yaris based on the United States EPA standards. NOx is oxides of nitrogen and is a lung irritant. As you can see, the amount has dropped substantially from 0.3 to 0.07 over the past 10 years. CO, or carbon monoxide, is a colorless, poisonous gas and the reading from 2000 has been cut in half. Next is NMOG or non-methane organic compounds containing carbon, which when combined with NOx, creates smog. The number drops from 0.9 to 0.55. PM is particulate matter, and those are the tiny particles of solid matter that can lodge in your lungs. As you can see, the 2000 and 2010 are virtually the same. Keep in mind that we're comparing two of the smallest cars on the road. If we were to use bigger vehicles in the comparison, then the difference could be greater. The good news about emission standards is that consumers don't have to change their driving habits to help improve air quality, even though driving less certainly helps. These new standards are developed by the government to continue to improve the amount of pollution we breathe in. A vehicle like this Yaris is rated as an ultra-low emissions vehicle and it also gets killer fuel economy. Driving the green road can be complex. Which car should you drive? Well, here's an easy way to help make the change. Drive a newer, cleaner vehicle that gets the best fuel efficiency for your needs.